Well, he's been a city councillor since 2010, currently representing the Toronto St. Paul's and serving as school trustee before that. City councillor Josh Matlow confirms he's entering the race to be the next mayor of Toronto, and he joins us live now in studio to talk about that. Councillor, thank you so much for joining us today. Good morning. So this is a pretty big announcement from you, and alongside it, already announcing a $67 increase for most households when it comes to property taxes. And you're saying this is in an effort to help support community services. Yeah, I, you know, one of the reasons that I've seen, and I think most of us have experienced, our services decline over the years, whether it be uh, the city's inability to clear our snow, fix our roads, uh, provide services to our most vulnerable, uh, make sure that the park bathrooms are open, um, and, and rebuild our infrastructure is because we have not had an honest conversation as a city about how to pay for it. And there have been campaigns in the past, and certainly campaigns I'm hearing about now, who pretend that Doug Ford is going to come and bail us out or upload things today, even though they've said they're not. And I believe that Torontonians deserve and frankly demand that we not only announce that we want to fix this city and make it work, and I intend to uh, see a city that works again, but I also want to make sure that people understand how I intend to pay for it. Mm -hmm. And I think we need to be upfront about it from day one. I know it's a risk. I recognize that. But, you know, what it comes down to it, and I think, you know, most Torontonians are very reasonable, and they understand that for the price of a sandwich a month, like $5.55, we can start actually investing in um, reversing the cuts to our TDC, make it safer, make sure that our streets are actually repaired. Uh, you know, we've got you know, broken, broken uh, garbage cans on every one of our main streets. We want, uh, we want a city that also has rec programs, for example, that as a parent, you don't need to go through like an Olympic event to get a spot for your kid. I've got a 10-year-old and it's a struggle. Uh, we want a city that's more affordable. So we need to invest in that city. Uh, there are people who uh, might think the status quo is working, and so they're going to vote for somebody who's just going to pretend that they're going to fix things but not actually talk about how they're going to do it. I believe that we need to be up front, and yes, it's a, it's a different approach to announcing a mayoral campaign, but it's the kind of campaign that I've been wanting to see somebody announce, and it's the kind of campaign that I'm announcing because that's the leadership that I believe Toronto needs. Well, the $67 is a quite exact number that you're throwing out there. Can I ask how you got to that number yeah. and what exact uh, services are going to be at the top of the list for you? Because you say it's being added so to a fund. Toronto uh, currently, and again, this is just never discussed because it's, uh, it's, a, it's a hot potato, but Toronto currently has the lowest tax rate of municipalities in Ontario. So we're not being realistic about how to pay for things. And, you know, while I still, you know, absolutely uh, seek and demand efficiencies at City Hall, our city doesn't work, and people know that, and people are experiencing that. So what I'm proposing is a city works fund. It will be based on a 2% uh, tax increase. What that 2% does is that it's $67 per homeowner per year. That comes down to only $5.55 per month. The price of a sandwich, literally, uh, to actually fix our problems. And, and which problems are you going to be really targeting? Let's say the top three at your list when it comes to what this fund is really being used for, because you named quite a few. There are, there are many. And in fact, we are facing a multi-billion dollar problem at the city of Toronto. And the reason that we've been left with this problem is because the last two mayors have not been realistic about whether it be uh, what it takes to pay for these things, but also there have been a lot of political projects that have been done that have wasted, I believe, a lot of money that we shouldn't have been spending. So, uh, you know, everything from improving TTC service to the state of our roads, to the state of our parks, to the quality of life that we have. I want an affordable, safe and healthy city that works. And ultimately, we also have too many people who are vulnerable on our streets <laughs> who need our help, we have youth at risk who need better opportunities. Right. So if we're really going to address our problems, we've got to address them at their roots, and we need to invest in them. Um, I just don't believe we can continue pretending that, you know, we can make announcements that everything's fine, but then not do the work to make sure that we have a city that works, and that's what I'm going to be doing. Well, Josh, I'm sure many people will have many more questions about taxes <laughs> and things of that nature, but we appreciate you coming and joining us this I appreciate morning. your time, too. Thank, Thank you so much.